Hello everyone, I am Manju Sharma and I will be discussing with you several important science topics. Today my topic is basic structure of DNA. It's a very important topic for exams and if you are a science learning student, you must subscribe on to my channel to get the latest updates and also hit the like button. Now let's start with today's topic that is basic structure of DNA. DNA is a long polynucleotide chain. So, it's a polynucleotide chain. The term polynucleotide itself is made up of two words. One is poly and the another one is nucleotide. The word poly means polymer of nucleotides. So, this nucleotide itself is composed of three things. The first one is pentose sugar. So the first component of a nucleotide is a pentose sugar. Pentose means a 5 carbon sugar. The second one is nitrogenous bases. And the third component of a nucleotide is a phosphate group. So let us be clear that the three things present in a nucleotide is a pentose sugar, a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group. Pentose sugar, as I have said, it is a 5 carbon sugar. There are two types of pentose sugars. The first one is a ribose sugar and the second one is deoxyribose sugar. Deoxyribose sugar. Now the full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. So it is obvious that deoxyribose sugar is present in DNA. And the full form of RNA that is another genetic material is ribonucleic acid. So ribose sugar is present in RNA. So this is the first and the main difference between DNA and RNA is that in DNA deoxyribose sugar is present and in RNA ribose sugar is present. Now let us see the structure of a ribose sugar. As I have said, it is a 5 carbon sugar. So this is carbon number 1, this is carbon number 2, this is carbon number 3, carbon number 4 and here is carbon number 5. This is OH, H, H, OH, H, OH. CH2OH. So this is the structure of a typical ribose sugar. Now this position is very important. That is the second carbon position. Now when we remove oxygen from this second carbon position, that means when OH becomes H, ribose becomes deoxyribose. You can see from the name, deoxy means removal of oxygen. So when one oxygen is removed from the second carbon position, ribose becomes deoxyribose. Now the second component which is present in a nucleotide is nitrogenous bases which are again of two types. The first one is urines and the second one is pyrimidines. are very large structures. They are made up of two rings or double ring structure and they are larger in size and complicated in structure. But pyrimidines, they are smaller in size, made up of single rings. And they are much simpler in structure than purines. There are two types of purines, adenine and guanine. And pyrimidines, they are of three types, thymine, uracil and cytosine. Now every time adenine pairs with thymine in DNA with two hydrogen bonds. But in case of RNA, adenine always pairs with uracil and not with thymine. So this is the second basic difference between a DNA and RNA is that thymine pyrimidine is present in DNA and uracil pyrimidine is present in RNA. <coughs> And guanine always pairs with cytosine with three hydrogen bonds. 
Now let us see the structure of a phosphate group. So phosphate group, it is a phosphoric acid where negatively charged oxygen atoms are present. So these are the three components present in a nucleotide. That is a pentose sugar, nitrogenous bases and a phosphate molecule. Now how these three components are arranged to form a nucleotide? Let us see the structure. As I have said, this is a sugar which is a pentose sugar. And this is the carbon number 1 position. You can see the structure here. This is the carbon number 1 position of the sugar to which a base is attached. A nitrogenous base is attached always to the carbon number 1 of a sugar and of nitrogen it is nitrogen number 1 of pyrimidine or nitrogen number 9 of a purine. And this bond which is formed that is called as glycosidic bond. We know glycosidic bond is a covalent bond and it is formed between a sugar molecule and any other molecule. So this is structure of sugar plus base, it is also called as a nucleoside. Now when a phosphate molecule is attached to it, that is at the 5 dash position, it becomes a nucleotide. And the bond here is the ester bond. So at the fifth position, phosphate is attached. Now one more phosphate is attached, which is at the three dash position, three carbon position, and that is why sometimes it is also called as phosphodiester bond, as two phosphate molecules are attached to one sugar molecule in a nucleotide. Now the structure of one nucleotide is clear. Now in a DNA, I have said that it is a polynucleotide chain. So how these nucleotides are attached to form a polynucleotide, let us see. This is the structure of one nucleotide. Let us see. This is nucleotide number one. This is nucleotide number two. And this is nucleotide number three. I will show you the example with three nucleotides. You can draw many more nucleotides here. The phosphate group is attached once to the 5 dash position and the other to the 3 dash position. That means we will join like this and here like this. This phosphate molecule attaches to the third carbon to the above sugar and to the fifth carbon to the sugar below it. So this is a polynucleotide chain where many nucleotides are attached and this is the 5 dash end which is free end and this is the 3 dash n which is the free end here. Now DNA it is not a single polynucleotide. It is having two polynucleotide chains which run in the anti-parallel direction. So let us now draw the structure of the another polynucleotide chain in the anti-parallel direction. So this will be the structure. This is the first carbon and this is the fifth carbon position. This is the second nucleotide and this is the third nucleotide. And this is attached 5 dash n, this is its 3 dash n, 5 dash and this is its 3 dash n. And this one is the free 3 dash n and this one is the free 5 dash n. Here we can see that one chain will run from 5 dash to 3 dash and the other chain runs from 3 dash to 5 dash position. Now bases also we can give example like adenine is present here, guanine and cytosine is present. So here according to complementary base pairing, thymine will be present, cytosine and guanine. Double bond, triple bond and this is triple bond. So in the structure of when we see the molecular structure of DNA, so this is the molecular structure of a DNA having two polynuclear